Brains are mysterious, but don't worry, here's a map. Imagine you're in a classroom in an enormous school, and it's your job to describe where everybody goes as soon as the class bell rings, but you're not allowed to leave your room. Well, that job would be pretty much impossible because you'd only see a small sliver of what's actually going on. That's kind of how we've understood the nervous system. Scientists have looked at numerous ways to study it, but they never had a big picture of what was going on in real time. Until now. See, researchers with MIT and the University of Vienna recently published a study in Nature Method describing how they made a 3D model of an organism's nervous system working in real time millisecond by millisecond. We think of the brain as the most important part of neural activity, but it is just a part. Our nervous system goes throughout our entire body and allows us to detect stimuli which gets sent up to the brain so that we can interpret what, what it is and what we should do, and that sends commands back down to the rest of our body. So the brain by itself doesn't mean so much. We have to take it in consideration with the entire nervous system. But that's really complicated and hard to do. So what organism did these scientists look at? They looked at Cenorhabditis elegans. It's a tiny little round worm, and okay, so it's a big jump between a worm and a person, at least for most people, but it's still amazing, and scientists have been looking at this tiny worm since the 1970s to study neural activity. In 1986, a team of scientists published a map of the 302 neurons inside this tiny worm, and 20 years later, another team published an even more comprehensive map, and we call these maps connectomes. The scientists used fluorescent biomarkers to tag calcium ions, which are passed from neuron to neuron. Then they used a technique called light field deconvolution microscopy. Yeah, that's what it's called. It was to actually watch the movement of these calcium ions, and then a computer running complex software crunched all the numbers and built a three-dimensional model. So the scientists could actually watch neural activity through the movement of ions on a millisecond by millisecond basis. Now this is amazing, but you have to admit, there's a big jump between 302 neurons in a worm and the 100 billion or so neurons in our brains with 100 trillion synapses connecting them in various configurations. However, this seemingly small step gets us closer to understanding how nervous systems work, and who knows, the groundwork laid by these scientists could mean that one day we can understand and even overcome brain disorders, or teach a machine how to think and feel like an organism. Now granted, all of that is way off in the future, but isn't that what this show is all about? Now, I've got a question for all of you. What seemingly small scientific discovery do you think was the most important in all of history? Let us know in the comments below and explain your answer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and join our growing army of futurists by subscribing to the channel. After that, check out these videos over here. Your brain will thank you.